Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my March TBR. Now, there are a lot of things that happen in the month of March for the book world, it seems. There's like middle grade March and a lot of book readathons that kind of happen. So I decided to take my own spin and I'm going to be doing Murder March. Or, yeah, we're going to go with that. Murder March. Because all of the books in this month's TBR are following the same vein as January and February. We are going with one genre for the month. And if you haven't guessed by Murder March, the month is going to be filled with suspense books. I will preface this to say that I know nothing about these books. I know I said it in my last TBR video, um, but especially with suspense, I really don't like to know anything about them. I might pain some people because a couple of these are in the middle of a series and I haven't read the first books in them. Life's a little crazy, but because they're review books, I need to get on them regardless of them being in the middle of a series. What's nice about a lot of Christian fiction series like this is they're written as standalones. So, yes, they might be a part of a series. Yes, we might see some of the same characters, but it's normally about someone different. They're following a different crime, um, especially with the authors that are on this list. So, I'm not too worried but if I do get to the point where I'm in the story and I am just absolutely confused and I have no clue what's going on and I need the other books in the series I do actually own them so without further ado I'm just going to jump right in to the TBR and I'm going to tell you what books are on them. so the first one is active defense by Lynette Eason and this is book three in her dangerous never sleep series Lynette is on the side that does standalones in her series so I don't think that I'll have an issue with just picking up the third book but again if I do I do have books one and two on my shelf so this is book one book two is lights out by Natalie Walters and this is book one in her new series called the snap agency and I'm really really excited I did read Natalie's first series the Harvard secret series and really enjoyed that one and I have heard that people are loving lights out so I'm really really excited to jump into this one the next book is malicious intent by Lynn H Blackburn and this is book two in her defend and protect series I did read her dive team investigator series a couple years ago has it really been that long hmm. anywho I absolutely loved it so much so I'm really hoping that the same chemistry and banter and just fun is brought over into this series and I'm really really excited to pick this one up this came out March 1st so it is brand new to the book world the next two books are actually book one and book two in a series and I have had book one for a while. I'm actually in the middle of it. I don't remember why I put it down. I remember enjoying what I read. It's very fast paced. So I'll probably pick this one up first um, since I have the second one to jump into. And I have heard that it is a continuing storyline, um, which going to be honest is not my favorite. I even like in series on TV. If there is a continuing bad guy that they're trying to get, I really kind of zone out. I don't like a continuing storyline. I like things to be wrapped up at the end. That's just me. I know that's not in like a thing in real life, which is why I prefer it when I'm watching stuff because I know that it's fiction. This does have a continuing storyline through it, so I am glad that I have the second book. I think the third one comes out this year at some point, so We'll get to it eventually but that is the escape by lisa harris and the chase by lisa harris this is book one and book two in the u.s marshall series and i've never read a book by lisa harris before but i have it on good authority and from bookworms that i trust that they really enjoyed these two books so i decided to get on the bandwagon and give them a try i am excited to finish the escape and get into the chase at some point this month and the last book 
on my TBR this month isn't technically suspense, um, but it definitely falls into the murder category and the spook category because it is on Cliffs of Foxglove Manor by Jamie Jo Wright. This is a time slip novel, meaning that it is set in historical and in current time. And if you haven't read a book by Jamie Jo Wright before, don't know what you're doing with your life. She is balls. She is everything spooky, spectacular. I personally don't find her books too creepy. Um, I love to read them at night, but I also enjoy that kind of thing. So I know a lot of people can't read her books once it's dark outside because she is a little on the spooky side. And she's not... She's not for everyone, but she's for a lot of people. And the least you can do is give her a shot because she's amazing. I love her writing style. It's beautiful. It's almost haunting even in its own, on its own. It gives you like this taste of history in the historical side and you can see things happening in the contemporary side. Like she just, she does an amazing job. I'm there are very few people who I enjoy their time slip novels by, but she is one that I, she's an autobi author for me. I adore her and I'm very excited. I have started this one. I'm on chapter five, so I'm not very far into it, but it promises to be just as gloriously dangerous as they all are. Mm, we love a good Jamie Jo Wright book. So this one is also on my TBR because I'm sure murder, mystery, mayhem, and all the things, hiding secrets, and all of the above are going to be included in this. So I thought we're going to add it to the table. So those are the books for the month. I have six on my TBR as of now that are all review books. Again, if something happens, and I need to jump into other books in the series. I do have them so I can read those and we'll just include those in the TBR as well. Really, really excited. I have wrap ups coming for you guys, I promise. Uh, I know it's like this channel has become all TBR and no wrap up, but I do have them. I have December's film, just have to edit, and I have January's needing to be filmed. It's going to get there. I have the books and then I will also be getting done with February soon. But I wanted to get this out to you guys now. So if you want to, you can also participate with me in Murder March. So yeah. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. Um, I will also be reading The Enlightenment of Bees by Rachel Linden. I just became a part of, did we name ourselves? I don't remember. Anywho, a group of Christian booktubers have gotten together and we decided to start a monthly book club that is all virtual and we're really, really excited about it. March will be our first month and The Enlightenment of Bees was the book that was chosen for the month. Haven't read it, don't really know much about it, but the cover is beautiful. I have a copy coming from Thrift Books and yeah, I forgot that that's also on my TBR for the month. So. Anywho, I think that is it. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> All my links are in the description. Bye! I'm a hot mess, man. Yeesh.